Good morning, afternoon or evening, wherever you are. So, first build on the camper. Feel free to have a look around. As you can see, it's not the best in the world. It needs a lot doing to it. But I've got windows. Bits and bobs and crap, one of them. So there's a lot to be done. I don't know if starting from someone else's build is the best thing to do. There's a lot of crap to rip out and a lot of things that are just a bit shoddy. So, plans. Rip out all this boarding. I don't believe there's any insulation in the roof whatsoever. So all this has got to come out. All the skylights has got to come out. Get all the insulation done, get rid of this whacking great bed that's taken up 90% of the van. Completely unnecessary. The question is, static bed or a pull-out bed? Space is a commodity. So what do we do? What are your thoughts on that? What are people going for nowadays? Are we going for the static bed? Or are we more in line with a pull-out bed? You can see the door's been filled up with leftover teddy bear, teddy bear guts. So the idea is, I'm going to build this off. I'm going to have a little shelf here. I'm going to be able to lift up the shelf and the panel is going to come out at an angle. And in there is going to be like a, a fabric hammock with my charger ports and all your places to put your phone. This is all going to be wooded off, and there's going to be a wood panel in here, <coughs> cut out about a 35 degree angle round. So when you pull that panel out, which is going to be a nice wood panel like this box, I can pull the panel out, and then you've got a nice view outside, and then at night you can put the panel back, and that will insulate the windows to keep it a bit warmer at night. Once that panel comes out, it's then going to double up as a table over there. So I'm going to have a recess in the wall that the table is going to slot into and then a panel that will come up out of the floor to support the end of the table. So you get a table and a window block. Window block, I don't know what you call it. All in one. But also I end up with two panels, so there's going to be another panel. So where this shelf lifts up, and that one angles out, when that side lifts up you better drop the panel down inside between the layers where the garage is so when you open the doors you'll see the bottom of the panel but that'll be sealed off to keep it nice and stop all the cold air coming in panel off these walls I'm going to panel here but this door is massive now I don't know how everyone else does it but I'm no professional and this is really I've got another van there and it's got a kitchen in it, but the kitchen's external in the side door. But, how much room do I need to get in and out of the van? Do I need to open the door all the way to the back? Not really, I don't think. So, that's enough room to exit and enter the van. So I've still got this much space here. Now, some people would put a kitchen here, or the kitchen over there. I'm thinking panel this off, but bring the panels right out to here, and then come down. But I'm going to stagger the panels, so there's one here, one there, one there, then I'm going to build up the front of the panel by overlaying the wood, and then I'm going to sand it back so that the panel comes across here, and then it gets bigger at this end, and then I'm going to hollow out the end. So you've got somewhere to put like a nice little plant pot, your keys, a pen, bits and bobs. So the actual end of the panel itself becomes storage. Because here it'll only be about 20 mil thick. It's a bit awkward to show without... So I've got a couple of bits of old crusty wood here, see if we can uh, give you an idea of what's going on inside my brain. So that's going to be a... So this is only skinny. I'm going to have to have something. It's going to be the width of the panel I use. But that's going to be panelled out. 
on the very end here, I'll build that out so that it's like double, triple the width. And I'll sand that round, sand it round here. So this, just that bit there, is thicker, a lot thicker than this. So bond them together and then cut that off and get it a nice sweeping angle down on there so it creates a lovely shape and sand that all smooth so it comes from nothing and just graduates up into a lovely like like a bit and then hollow out the inside but not the bottom so once it's actually on the wall that area there becomes a container actual storage and then stagger these so these are really skinny so it's really hard to show so you get that kind of effect I don't know if you can see that from where you are but you can have a look round and then you get that staggering type of effect like that and over stagger that and then have a hook here with your keys hanging down or see these are going to be bigger so the gap's going to be a lot more substantial so you can have a pot there with like a flower pot in it, you can have a hook here with your keys. And then that bulged area there. So you think you can camp a van, that's my fault. I'm going to carry on that down here to create containers in the wall. So it's not just a flat, plain wall. Because every bit of space inside here needs to be a hundred percent efficient. And obviously you've got these recesses here but I need to insulate these. But even recesses like this give depth into the wall to give you the ability to put things in. <coughs> but I don't want to create cold areas. So I'm thinking panel this out, bulge the walls in and out, which sounds weird. So I've got extra storage bed I'm thinking of doing triangular so maybe if it's a static bed oh here comes shorty maybe bring it across there and then across here so it's smaller because it doesn't need to be this big Daddy? hello I have a little bit of jo a joke for you ok ok why can't a bicycle stand up on its own because it's a bike, unless it's a crawly bike. Because it was too tired. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Very good. Doing? I like the way we both came with no shoes. Yeah, no shoes. We'll get the bed dirty. It's just because I saw you. I saw you through the window. Just doing a YouTube video. Oh. Why? It's wobbling. Don't wobble it. It'll fall off, ski. Do you know what you're filming? Yeah. <laughs> 